Five seconds. We are Stoke Space. Hello guys, welcome to the video and welcome to Space Expanse, the channel where we don't miss a tweet about the space flight industry. As usual, there has been a lot in this past few weeks, so let's dive right in. Five seconds. We are Stoke Space. From seed money to engine testing. We move faster than any rocket company in history. We are building the holy grail of rocketry, a fully and rapidly reusable rocket. Our singular focus on 100% reusability and ultra high launch cadence drives every architectural decision we make. So we started with the second stage, the stage everyone else throws away. Our unique innovation is a combined system of 30 smaller, independently controlled thrusters embedded into our dynamically cooled heat shield. In the vacuum of space, our second stage separates. The plumes from 30 thrusters merge as one to provide ultra-high in-space performance. We can precisely deploy our payloads when and where they are needed. Once deployed, our second stage deorbits and begins atmospheric re-entry. Our durable metallic heat shield protects both the vehicle and return payloads, abandoning the industry standard of fragile ceramic tiles. Once safely through the atmosphere, our engine fires up, providing low throttle thrust to enable precision landing. The active cooling of our heat shield leaves the vehicle at a low, approachable temperature in preparation for rapid reuse. We are Stoke Space, and we are building the world's most efficient, fully reusable rocket. One mission-affirming piece of hardware at a time. Stand by. Real hardware? Yes, it is happening. It is about time. So Stock Space decided to just wake up and choose violence and just drop the mic on the space industry. They are like, this is what we are bringing to the table. No one has done this and we are going to do it and we will make sure that this happens. So what they are trying to do is to build a fully and rapid reusable rocket. Now we all know that Rockets has two stages. We have the first stage and then we have the second stage. So companies are, are landing the first stage and others two are not. But what Stock Space is trying to focus on here is the second stage. They will land the first stage all right. But what about the second stage? So this is where the 100% reusability kicks in. So they are trying to land the second stage also, which has never been done by any rocket company up to date. So how are they going to do this? How are they going to let this happen? So they they are integrating the fairing, the thrusters, and then heat shield and everything into one one capsulized second stage. So so the 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 second stage is actually going to be like um a stage, uh, sorry like a species um they are they are dragon capsule okay but if it's not a capsule it is a second stage but it will house the payload because it will be having the fairings and then the and then the the thrusters everything so when when the rocket separates okay the first stage will will come back and land on earth and then the second stage will send the payload to the precise orbit and then it will correct course and then it will be heading back to earth with the fairing and then everything intact it will also be be having landing legs as well. I have never seen any rocket company do this up to date. So as we are seeing in the video, this is how the second stage will look like. So if if it separates, it will send the payload to the orbit and then the fairings will just open up for 
the payload to go to where it is going then it will close back up and then it will correct course come back down and it will land how crazy is that so um if if we if we are to compare this with with the neutron with the rocket lab neutron with what they are also trying to do with with neutron they are trying to 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 what to build a hundred percent reusable rocket but what what they are doing is slight what slightly different because they they will they will actually not not recover the the second stage engines and everything because it will it will send the payload to its destination and then the the booster and then everything holding the the fairing will come back down but the engines and then the payload won't come back but stock space will bring everything back down that i think is a genius plan and a genius idea and we need to we need to support them and you know help them do this because if this if this is a success it is going to you know change a lot of things about the space flight industry so yeah that is what is happening that is what stoke space is planning to do so um don't forget to to like the video subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any amazing content and news about the space flight industry just like as this one i'll keep on posting so don't miss out on any video and let's let's cross our fingers for stoke space i believe the, the they will be doing an amazing work and an, and an amazing job so thank you all for watching this video i appreciate y'all see you all next time here on space expense